Hi, here we go, starting the, all of the Art Society. You're going to get to see all the art. So let's go, lots of it. Um, the, the wonderful big painting here is by Nan Quinton. She is a very accomplished artist, and we are so lucky that she brought this work of art here. It's a pastel, because it was just in an international show. Um, while you don't see prices on the labels on the art, that is because this is a show in the library, yeah. not in a gallery, but yeah. there is a price list at the front, front desk. desk. Wonderful. Over here we um, have... This is a watercolor, Elaine. You, oh, you mentioned pastel, I'm but sorry. yeah, that's okay. <laughs> Um, yeah. So this is Norma von Fricken. She's been a member for an, a very long time, and this is a brand new member, Raksha oh. Sani, oh. and she just did a demo for us that you can find on YouTube. That is posted on our website. Nice. So we have the, the beginning. This is the McCarthy room at the Chumsey Library, and now we're going to the other side, and uh, which Elaine will talk about the art and. So we have two by member Donna Hediger, and you can see these are both actually watercolors. Yeah. Got it right this time. And she just does lovely, lovely scenes. This one is another by Norma von Fricken, but look at that. Just a beautiful, beautiful vase of flowers that's going to brighten up anybody's day. She's doing a beautiful work. They all, and so is Donna Hediger. These are beautiful, yep. And this, this one, I just always love this. She came in in the summer, she is 96, and wow. she just started painting. This is uh, Esther Penny. And oh, Tom and I's favorite, Linda Hamilton Crossland. This is one of two pieces that she has in the show. And don't you just love that, the movement, the color, it just, oh. Yeah, she's fantastic like with this corpore art or something like that. And she does oh, a yes. great pouring job with that pouring yeah. art. Yeah. And the colors she picks out too are wonderful. So, And she's a good friend of mine and maybe yours as well. So it's great to see her art doing so well. And guess what? This is yours, <laughs> right, Elaine? Yes. Um, yes, I have, I have two very big pieces, which is not quite typical for me or most photographers. Oh. But these were actually in a show. And before they were framed, they were hung from the ceiling. And most of the artists here, I can say, have their own website. We will share that. Um, mine will have a video of that show where these were on the ceiling. <laughs> but they were also in Tremonte, the restaurant, and, because they're large. And yeah. certain spaces need, need large art. Yeah. And what I find is some people want bigger art, and some people, maybe they moved and they need smaller art. Yes. So, Nice, well, beautiful. You did a very nice job. And did you print that out yourself? Did you say, Elaine? That or, one, no. Oh, no, not that I, one. I can't print oh. most of my stuff. Yeah. But that's too big. Yeah, that's a big one. Yeah. So this is um, Barbara Lodinsky. Oh. I mentioned her before, our, uh, my co president. And this is up in Acadia. There, oh, I've been there. I know Acadia and love it, and it can just bring you right back. Very nice. And that rose, who did that rose below Sue that? Lippmann. And Sue Lippman is oh, a know, star. Sue. She yeah. just she did so much to help make this show beautiful. She was <sighs> the manager and the the first person to hang the show and the last person to leave. Oh yes, and I saw. Look at this. Isn't this just beautiful? It I is. I want to have that right in my. And it's small something. too, so it's it looks like it's in less than an eight by ten inch frame, so it could fit in anyone's home or office. So stop by, oh, the one below, and stop by the front desk. Don't forget to get the price list. And look, if you're ever interested in purchasing any of this art. So, and Elaine, this one in the bottom, who's that by? This one is also Sue Lippman. Sue Lippman, oh, so she did both of those. Yeah. yeah, both. She did a great job on both of them. Beautiful. And okay, and next door, where so do you want to start? This is also Barbara. Oh, Barbara Ludinsky, huh? Acadia. Um, it's a Very film. nice. And this is Diane Harvey, one of the other bar, uh, board members. It's a watercolor spring spruce up. Very nice, nice beautiful. Thing to think of as, as the weather's getting colder and colder. Beautiful. And oh, look at these. These are two inch with different techniques, a little bit looser yes, than but, what I would call. But the same artist. And oh, yeah, of those, I yeah. I find that just so much fun when you see artists just 
completely different work. Yeah. And I like you, Tub. I've yeah. seen so many different things, and yeah. and, we're and who is this? Next style. This is also a board member, Julie Montague, and so we have overlooking the valley, valley, and artist at shore with dog. Look at that. She she's doing a great job, Julie. You're fantastic. Keep painting. <laughs> In fact, all of the artists. I hope you keep painting. Oh, and this uh, this looks a little familiar. Yeah. <laughs> this one in Tom and, yeah. and you said Facebook basically told you to put this yeah. one in the show <laughs> so. and isn't this perfect I just love the energy and the color and yeah. it, it just, thank you ugh. so both of these are uh, dancers are by me and yeah they're very popular on my Facebook page as you may know I've sold some of them and um, so they're both watercolors just to let people know so yeah I'm, I'm getting into that you know why the dancers, so many people responded positively and so they want me to do more dancers. So I'm enjoying painting them, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it's what you love to do, that you'll yeah. make the oh. best art. I yes, think. yes. And so we have uh, another of Linda, Linda Hamilton Crosslands and you can yeah. see this is a different work of art. It's photo. A photo, yeah which looks kind of like a painting. It does. And the contrast with the blue and the white is amazing. You'll see a lot of different ways to frame, and the artists really try and make the frame work best for the art. Yeah. And you know what it is to get something framed. It, yes. It takes a lot, and a lot of time, and often a lot of money. Yes, yeah, that's for sure. So this is Esther Donlin. It's a watercolor, and such a soft, Soft. Yes. Beautiful. Esther's been painting beautiful watercolors for a long time now. I know I know Esther as well. Yeah. Oh, and who's what's this what medium is that? Oh photography. Yes. Is that right? Yes. Geez, I could read that from here, which is nice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so who is that by? Do you know? That's Sobroto. Oh Sobroto. Oh yeah, and very he nice. Just joined, but uh, he is on the Chelmsford Cultural Council. Oh uh, wonderful. And yeah. He's going to be running the um, photo show in January. Oh, what photo show? Where is it going to be? photo show that's here at the library. After, but we're here through the end of January, right? Yeah, this will sorry, be February. Oh, February. Oh, great, great. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, he's doing some beautiful photography work. We see it on Facebook as well. He yeah. posts it on my Chumps at Arts page sometimes. He, he can use a drone to take amazing Oh, yeah, he's, his drone pictures are amazing, too. So here we have Sylvia Mallory. Both of these oh. are by Sylvia. Silver, Sylvia, Sylvia Mallory, yeah. Yes. Let me, um, isn't this, uh, the one below is collage, isn't it, it also? It is, it is. A multimedia with some collage work, like cut out, the tree is cut out paper and the red uh, apples or whatever are cut out. I, it's I a lot of work went into that. I haven't done it, but I did just yeah. hear that the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston has this astounding collage exhibit, and it's oh. really neat to see local artists doing something very special with it. Yes. It's a different yeah. medium. Yes. Very nice. So, so which, yeah. Yes, I thought so. These are also, th these are by another new member, uh, Garima. I'm, I'm not going to try your last name. I'm sorry, Garima. Oh. Um, and oh, flowers. And Very oh, nice. Daffodils. Uh, I love daffodils. daffodils. Yeah, I do too. Beautiful. Yeah. And what? That's what oil. Uh, yes. I this think is Nantucket. oil. Oh. Yeah. Look at that. I miss Nantucket. I have to get back there. So she did a great job with these uh, two paintings. Beautiful. Hopefully she'll yeah. paint many, many more. Oh, and look at this. This is one of my favorites in the show. I, I've known her for a long time. Right. Yes. Uh, Janet Klingerman. Seattle. 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 Yeah. Um, and I just love this because it's it's almost like a jewel box. Yeah. Just a jewel box picture of fallen New England. And you get a, hopefully everybody could see this in person because the way she uh, blended the colors and the, the mountains, you could tell they're in a distance. She did everything perfectly in that. And the colors she selected, the autumn colors are just magnificent. So hopefully everybody could see that and all this other art in person. A very beautiful job. Uh, Janet is her name, right? Janet? Janet. Yeah. So um, we have, well, we have another of Janet. So you see the range. Yes, fall yeah. To a winter scene. 
Yes, yeah. And then we have Ivan Orlinsky. Oh, yeah. He's a past president. And this is one of his watercolors. And you can just see the range of what watercolor can do, um, smoothing the rocks. And so the water really pops. Yes, yeah, very nice. So now we have um, ooh, okay. a couple different artists. So Sherry Nordhaus. Uh, She's been a member for a very long time. And you can see this is, again, watercolor, but it almost looks like a woodcut. Yeah, yes. And she, she worked with the media. And we have the, the wonderful road going off into the distance. By Janet, right? Janet, yes. She's an amazing artist. Well, they're all amazing artists, so uh, wonderful. And look at the way she did the, uh, the branches so perfectly. Right. And the trees in the background so perfectly in the road, you could tell it's going off in the distance, the way she lightened the colors in the, in the background. She's, she's an and, amazing and artist. And I noticed the uh, gold, which a lot of pictures can't have that gold, but this, this really works. It and does, yes. it makes it yes. better. Yes. So this on the top is? Oh, one of my fellow photographers, Lee Fortier. Yeah. And, um, he just manages to take something you see every day. This is Chelmsford every day, yeah. and he finds a new way to see it. Yes, and it's a little unusual for him to have a, a black and white image in the show. Very often he posts beautiful color photos, but black and white um, could also accentuate, like the way the darkness of the, the headstones and the, the light of the church in the background it and the clouds. The texture. That, yes, yes, yeah. Very it's, nice. It's almost black and white because you can see the flag is in color. That's what he titled it, almost black and white. But I, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see that? I wondered if he might have just colored the. Um, maybe not. I thought maybe colored the flag later, but no. Maybe he got it black and white because we have snow and then we have the white church. But I was surprised the spruce or anything isn't a color. Maybe he just colored in, colored the flag, but everything else is black and white in his developing process. Because he does a lot with software, right, Elaine? Yeah, yes. Well, we might also be able to ask him ourselves. We're planning some Meet the Artist events. And some of it is to say, how did you do that? Yes, yeah, right. That'll be a good time. We could ask him. So that's Lee Fortier. Very nice, yes. Lee. And this is, these are by, these next two are by new members as well. Dave Marstoff, um, he, he makes these types of pictures very big, but this oh. is kind of nice to see it brought down to something that really makes you look closer. Yeah. He does these really intricate abstracts and fantastical fantasia type of things. So, yeah, that's an abstract, right? It's not representing anything as far as we could tell. Great, no, very if nice. If you see something, Tom, let me know. No, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Great, and then this is one of your favorite artists I know. Um, well, well, Brooke Lambert, Lambert is a new member to us, but she's a very hot artist on the scene right now. She just had the library solo show um, yeah. in September. But this is a very particular process and we have a video of it on our site, the ChumpsfordArtSociety.com, because she tried to explain it to us and we just didn't really understand it. So you have to really see it because it's a printing and painting process. Um, it's called Colograph with Gauche. Gauche? Yeah, Gu gouache, gouache, maybe, Gouache. Yeah. Beautiful, yeah, very nice, very nice. And now we'll go to the other walls and the McCarthy Room in the Chumpsford Library, which is where we are. You want to start with the top one there, Elaine? Sure. Well, here we go yep. with Lee again. Yes, I like so, this. Beautiful. Lee Fortier, photography, and oh, it's so amazing. You need really a special lens to get a close-up like this. But the detail he managed to get, and it's really just, which do you want to look at, the butterfly or the flower? Yeah, it's beautiful. I, and I featured that on my Chumps at Arts page, too, on Facebook. Oh, you I love that stuff on. <laughs> <laughs> and this one, this water? This is Nan Quinton. So oh, Nan, with, beautiful Nan. With her very large piece, of, but she, she loves doing old houses and barns and things like that. Yeah, I, she does a great job with them as well. 
Um, and she also has an exhibit of her paintings right now at Doty's Diner on Summer Street. I just photographed that last week and put it on Facebook. But Nan has a beautiful exhibit there for some of her paintings, along with Donna Berger has some paintings there as well, as well at right. Doty's Diner. That's right. What a wonderful way for a restaurant and artists to support each other. Yes, I agree. And this is a beautiful, who did this one? Do you this is uh, a Judy Grace Miller. Janie Grace Miller, yeah, nice. I want to show this one with this one because it's yeah. the same scene in Concord, but different light. So it's Monument Square in Concord, and you see the daylight and yes. the, the dappling of the color, and then the approaching evening, and it's a different color spectrum. And you see also the frame. The frame says day, the frame says night. I think she did a fantastic job with these two paintings. She's a wonderful, wonderful artist. And those, those are oil paintings. Yeah, and I then we we'll start in the top there. Oh, by, is it? Watercolors, Sherry Nordhaus. Sherry Nordhaus, and that's cacti, right? Yes. Cactus? Yes. Beautiful, so, and beautiful. This is Diane Harvey, the, um, our board member again. And Very so nice. Watercolor, it's a really neat scene, and the colors, the colors really, um, I don't know, I feel peaceful. Beautiful, beautiful. And then we have a couple more pieces here in the McCarthy Room. Beautiful pieces. Um, Richard Bone. So it w I love that he picked um, two smaller pieces. Yes, yeah. Um, and they, they're just so easy to say, I want to take that home. Um, but they're both watercolors. But he managed to get the detail on the apple with watercolor. Which just amazing. is amazing, and it's, if people don't know how difficult that is, <laughs> I could attest to it because I paint often with watercolor. And to get that texture of the apple and the leaves like that with watercolors is extremely difficult. So you have to be very talented and skilled to do that. So congratulations on that. And, and the one below... Um, is also beautiful by the same artist, right, Richard? Yes, and, and it's amazing to me. Some of our artists are full-time artists, have always been artists, and some are brand new, and they can just blow you away with their skill. Yes, yeah. So we have about four minutes left, Elaine. Okay. Oh, oh and there's some photos and um, a, a, another piece. Here. Yes. This is a beautiful photo, right? Yes. Of a card. Um, uh, two beautiful birds. Yes. He does beautiful bird photography. And then this is uh, Jillian Orlinski. And yeah. this is an interesting thing. She's doing much more abstract work. And that's acrylic, right? Yeah. And here we have a photo, it looks like. Uh, Subruto. Oh, yeah. And his very fun tracking those birds that fly everywhere. Beautiful. Beautiful. And now we're going to the, by the front door of the library. And Elaine will show you. Um, so this is Brooke again. You can Brooke. see how just uh, over. Oh, you just fall into the color. Yeah. And we have two photographies because what goes against all that color is black and white photography. Yeah. And this is Pam Baker. Pam Baker, yeah. I, I met her through the Newman Report photo group. Okay. And that, if you can tell, that's Venice. Oh yes, yeah. And it's a nice sort of sepia tone, and this is. Ed, um, oh Ed, I'm sorry, I don't want to say it wrong, but Wozniak, um, first snow in Haymarket Square. Haymarket Square, nice, beautiful. It makes me thankful I don't have to commute anymore. <laughs> so we're going around to the other walls of the library, and uh, we have another photo here, it looks like. Yeah, this is also Pam Baker, and this is when she was in London. In London, nice. Yeah, it's a nice, nice color and energy, because London's never yeah. seen. Yeah. Oh, I like these uh, arches here, these yeah, this is gazebos again, or whatever. And it's printed on metal. And that's the fun thing, is that now oh. you can print on all sorts of different yeah. materials. You have to find the right person to print it or service. Yes. But he, he again, it's mostly sepia, but you can see the color in the... Yes. Roots. Very nice. Oh, look at this nice painting. This is beautiful. Raksha and, oh, you know what? <laughs> that path into the woods and the light. Doesn't it just. Oh. Yeah, very nice. And that's with oil. She painted that. Yeah. 
I did a great job. She, Beautiful. She, she teaches a lot of classes oh, yeah. uh, internationally, too. Wow. Yeah, it was fun after her demo. She uh, had 21 watching live, and then the people in India watch the next day. Right, nice. So, nice. Yeah, this is mine. This hey! Is my second large picture. This is Elaine's. Oh, Elaine Seidel's yes. beautiful. A vibrant fall. Beautiful. I, I like to take pictures yeah. up. Nice, yeah, very nice. And the last piece is uh, Dave Morstoff again. Oh. And you see the difference. He does have sort of with this white frame. Yeah. It just it makes you feel like, what are you, you know, you look closer when there's not that much color. Yes. You look closer. Very nice. Well, the show, as everybody could tell, you could say, is uh, came out beautifully, Lane. Thank, Thank you. you so Thank much, you. you and Barbara and everybody who helped put up the show and organize the show. And I think we'll have it online too. We could we're gonna have videos of it. So Elaine will send all that out to the members and the community. And so remember, thank you. Remember, if you need a gift, art is a wonderful, original, sometimes one of a kind gift. So you know. And you could support the artist that way. And the yes. price list is at the front desk here at the Chelmsford Library. Yes. So thank you, Elaine. And thank you. thank you all for watching. I'm Tom Cristiano. Ciao.